Okay, I'm Lauren Terry, and today I'll be discussing the harmful effects of the lack of recognition for female athletes. A University of Southern California study about TV news media coverage has found that coverage of women's sports has barely budged in a quarter of a century, despite drastic increases in the number of girls and women playing. When it is streaming, media diverts attention away from female athletes' skills and achievements and focuses towards pretty athletes. In other words, female athletes are only successful if they look successful in society's eyes. So, although the International Olympic Committee reported the number of women athletes at the Olympic Games approaching 50%, the lack of recognition hinders further growth. The lack of women recognition, media coverage, discrimination, education, etc., in athletics has drastic effects on the well-being of female athletes and society. The lack of recognition means female students do not see the benefit of sports. In fact, female students only represent 41% of high school athletes and 37% of college athletes, while male sports rep represent at least 59% for high school and 63% for college athletes. This means female students are missing an opportunity which can be the difference between success and failure in their future. For example, in empowering women through sport, the program One Win Leads to Another has helped young women through sports. 89% of girls said that they were a leader compared to 46% before. 93% of girls know where to report violence. 79% of girls know how to prevent pregnancy compared to 26% before. 77% of girls know how to prevent sexually transmitted infections compared to 21% before. And 99% of these girls believe that they will one day get a job. This goes to show that sport has the ability to change the world, by providing young women with social connections, a refuge from violence in their homes and community, help them understand their bodies, build confidence, and the ability to speak up. Additionally, researchers have found that student athletes are significantly more likely to go to college, score higher on standardized tests, earn higher wages and are more likely to report having positive relationships. These higher educated female athletes have a greater opportunity to make change because they are more knowledgeable and creditable. Therefore, society will hear, express, and support their ideas more. Furthermore, Betsy Stevenson, a professor of public policy and economics at the University of Michigan, found that athletic participation and in increased women education impacts the outcome of the labor market for both men and women, thus benefiting the economy of the whole world. This can produce a healthy society, but only if female athletes are being recognized for their skills and achievements. However, sport has tended to celebrate the achievements of men while marginalizing the status of women by placing women in expressive, supportive roles such as cheerleaders or regulating participation by women to a secondary status. Society has created an idea of masculinity which is associated with sports because of the combination of skill, force, and athletic superiority in athletic competition is regarded as a defining feature of masculine identity. Since women are seen as feminine, sports are not associated with women. Moreover, even television channels are based on the sports they show. The more popular ones are used for men and the less popular ones are used for women, such as the Women's Sports and Entertainment Network. This creates an even greater divide in sports. This leads people to come up with more excuses that females should not play sports, such as human and economic resources are wasted because the performance levels of females are significantly lower than those of males, and that sport is not important for the social development of women because the values of achievement, aggressiveness, and competition are irrelevant to the life experience of women. However, sports can build healthy public policy, create supportive environments, strengthen community action, develop personal skills, and reorientate health services. Additionally, as shown by the One Win Leads to Another program, sports play a major role in the life experience of females. Furthermore, a professor at the Netherlands Institute for Neuroscience, Alicia Garcia Flagueres, proves that sport has many more benefits, ranging from mood improvement, decreased stress, less chance of depression, increased brain health, and increased pain tolerance. Here are some solutions. Society should greater promote women's sports by acknowledging female athletes for their skills and achievements. This would also allow for young women to visibly see female role models, which would increase the amount of females in sports. 
However, this is limited by the idea of women being unfit to play sports. Furthermore, masculinity has been embedded into the culture of sports, so to allow for equal representation for female athletes, society would first need to change the negative connotation of masculinity within sports that causes discrimination against women athletics. This is Im implicated by sports being built on masculinity, which is greater in force by the lack of recognition in female athletics. Additionally, there needs to be more acts towards equality in sports. Although there are acts, such as Title IX, that have increased female participation in sports, there is still discrimination that is not being addressed. These acts are on the right track to allowing more equality for females, but it will never get there unless we work towards acknowledgement of these females' skills, abilities, and this issue so that sports can grow society for both men and women. So I was really interested on the fact that there are separate television channels for women and men, but I couldn't find like the specific percentages of just how many there were for different streaming companies. And I feel like that would have helped to really show the divide, but I was unable to find any, so. Okay. Where did you look to find them? Uh, I looked at streaming guides and their websites but they didn't have specific statistics for the different, like, women and men's sports channels. Gotcha. Okay, good. And then the second question. Um, how did your conclusion respond to the research or the conclusions that other people have presented? So in Empowering Women Through Sport, they concluded that female athletes are not being recognized. And so my solution combined that from the one in the, an article I read from E. Bun Lee from the University of Southern Texas. We found that because of the lack of media coverage, future generations would not be able to take, like weren't interested in sports. And then also I found that masculinity played a part into the show, actually showing female athletes. And so I combined that to come up with my solution.